Right guys, you're right, just off to find a, an old canal lock. It was used last uh, year in the 19, 1920s, 1929, something like that. And it's basically close to the river, which is just down there actually. And basically what is a canal lock is to help small boats get onto the river, basically. And I put more description in uh, below and uh, go and check it out. I was on Google Earth. Yeah, so I was looking at the microphone now, so it was turned on or not. Yeah, so on Google Earth, so that's pretty cool. And that's part of it. Didn't look much today, but back in the late 20s. It's a big mound. Got any part of the canal. Goes all the way down there. Up through here. Let's go in there. Let's go and check it out. Yeah, I've never been to uh, here before, so it's been quite an adventure. No joy. <laughs> Great, my favourite. Battling through these again. Everywhere I go, I'm stinging nettles. I hate the damn things. Yeah. So yeah, basically we're walking in the old, literally in the old canal at the moment. There's a museum just get my bearings right. Over that direction somewhere, over there somewhere like that. Over the side of the river. There's a National Waterways Museum. And there's a cracking little museum actually, I must admit. Been there quite a few times. It tells you history about these canals and everything else. But we're not surprised to <laughs> dying this over now. There's some kind of grassy park on there. There's flowers anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna have bad cuts on my leg later. There we go. It's the old or trip bridge. So yeah, back in the late 20s we would have been quite literally into water by now. And obviously back then there wasn't much transport like lorries and trains and all that kind of stuff. So basically the canals. This is one of the old locks. Deeper than I thought. So water would be in about that high up. So here. Yeah. That is actually one of the That's where the wood, the old gates would have been. Same that's that, that's all covered over, see the old metal at the top. That's the old gatekeeper's cottage. So I like to call them anyway. Yeah, it's not every day you get to walk through one anyway. That's pretty cool. That's old. That's that's new version, but an older footbridge would have been there anyway. So to have girls and I steal on back in those days. Oh, that's what was left of it, is that bit there. Cool. So on Google Earth it looks boggy and marshy, but it's quite clean and dry down here. Yeah, very cool indeed. Yeah, not far from the river. The river's just over that side. I could see it's still here actually, which is really nice. The gates would have been here as well. Two of them. Let's get down here. So yeah. 
would be a side can't see it through the weeds. Just up there there would be an edge of it, same here. I like there's a bunch of kids down there, so... This thing's a weed. I don't mean plants, I mean drugs. It's just not good. Yeah, nice to see this bit of history still here. I don't know who lives in there at the moment. Shame that was abandoned as well. I feel there's a lot of talk having this um, restored. But it's going to take a lot of money to get this, you know, restored again and full of water. And I don't think it's ever going to happen, unfortunately. Also, I did put a bit of history in the description all about our waterways. But, like I said earlier, a major, major part in our country, coal, flour, wheat, all that was transported by boats, by barges. And actually, one of my videos I did, where there's abandoned barges, those would have been used on these locks. So in these canals, more like. It's also left to uh, by the nature. Oh, singers! Yeah, let's check if I'm not being followed by those kids. Quite interesting as well because right next to it is a an old railway bridge. I did take some pictures of it earlier, so I'll include that in the video as well. So we've got the canal and train right next to each other. There's actually the wind's picking up lovely. There's actually the train that killed the canals off, so, so yeah, running straight past the old canal. And that died as well due to more efficient road networks. Nope. Road networks. Road networks. <laughs> Alright. Get my words out today. Brake canals are still being used for leisure craft and all that kind of stuff. And Gloucester is well known for that. Which is pretty cool. It's actually fat. I'll take you to a canal block that's still in use today.